What's going on, Internet? Lambo here, coming to you again from the nerdery, where I have revisited a classic scenario, everybody's favorite, Scenario 3, Inox Encampment. This time, instead of what I did before with all her starts, and I was really, really early on on my channel, um, but it actually was one of my more popular uh, videos for terrain. Uh, I did it all over in Talisman Saber terrain, using elevation, my new nature stuff, uh, some of the fort walls, and a lot of this is a result of the successful Kickstarter we had just a month ago. And all these files now that you see here will either be available for purchase on our website, or, um, or if they're not yet, they will be in the very near, near future, because we're just waiting for a couple more days. But anyway, without, without further ado, let's take a look at Scenario 3, Inox and Cabinet. And spoiler alert, if you don't know what's in Iron Ox Encampment, don't watch the video. But let's check it out. All right, here we have Scenario 3, Inox Encampment, and I decided to build this all out using my fort walls. These walls I initially designed for our uh, demo board we built for Cephalofair Games back at uh, PAX Unplugged in 2019, and that's where they unveiled Frosthaven, and I built their winter uh, demo board and designed these fort walls to go with it. And so now I have revisited them, fixed them up, cleaned them up, add a couple more variants and they were released as a stretch or obtained as a stretch goal as part of our most recent talisman saber terrain kickstarter uh so you can get these files digitally in the very near future once i finish out the set uh but what do we got going on here so um nature terrain kind of hitting around the outside i tried my best to really soup up this level as far as adding a lot of elevation um going into a lot with the scenic risers so these ones over here, instead of just our normal risers, which where you would see openings, I tried to implement these guys as much as possible to really just clean up the appearance of the level. Uh, I was just going all out, having a good time. And the other thing I did, oh, let's see, this tree top is kind of changing the focus. Let's remove it. Oh, there we go. That'll help us focus better. Um, so this also incorporates all of my new Inox models. So... Uh, if you watched a video, my last video or my two videos ago, I gave away my old Inox guards. And so these all have three horns now. They're proxies for uh, the, you know, Bigfoot looking horned Inox that come, that would be in the game, you know, if I had a real proxy. But these ones I designed on Hero Forge. And um, they have three horns. And, and yeah, they look pretty cool. Let's see, there's this variant as well. I have a couple different variants of them now. I went to town on Hero Forge, and I hadn't replaced my archers or my shaman yet, or shaman, shaman's how you pronounce it. I have learned the ways of pronouncing that word. Uh, so these are my Inox archers, also three horns, which I, I'm digging, and I've got three styles of those, and instead of me picking them up, I'll just bring the camera to you guys, so let's move that in there. As you can see, they got three different poses of Inox guards or Inox archers. And I'll move these totems out of the way for a second. 
have one Inox Shaman that I was really digging. Um, this one I also made on Hero Forge. Oh, I was going to drop him. Yeah, like he's got this little flame thing going, and uh, yeah, it looks pretty cool. So, those are all on Hero Forge. I'll put links to the designs I used to create these. When I made them, I didn't have a, a third horn, but I'm going to try and go back in because I think you can actually add a third horn now in Hero Forge itself. So, if you can, I'm going to do that, publish links, and if you like those files for proxies, then you can just you know pick them up for yourself from Hero Forge and print them if you are a 3D printing person like I am. All right, so uh, the totems. Ooh, fell over, really narrow bases. All right, uh, those totems I believe are Robogon totems. He does a lot of accessory pieces for um, Gloomhaven. Uh, I'm pretty sure the, the thorns here are also his. Um, and what else we got going on? So fort, barrels, uh, that's a mixture of her starts. I think that's Dungeon Saga. Uh, this is actually ones we print um, from a fantasy uh, designer, and we have a license to those. Um, this one here, and there's a bigger one back there. That barrel. So we will eventually have a kind of a dungeon basics overlay set available where you can buy boxes like that box there and that box there. Uh, and this treasure chest right here. Uh, but yeah. Um, so what else we got going on? I'll just give you a quick look. And then transitioning to the cave where our uh, our party was the... Um, pretty sure we were on call babysitters. That's why we went. No other reason. <laughs> if you've played the level, you know what I mean. Uh, but man, this level, I'm telling you what. If you've played this level, we play a five-man group or a five-party, five-person party. Just because that's how many people are in my game group and I wasn't going to leave anybody out. And you have to kill five times the number of characters you bring so that's 25 enemies this level kicks our butt every time we played we figured we were more experienced we should be fine granted two of us started new characters for this scenario and we got worked again so um yeah inox encampment is not an easy level especially if you don't know how to play the characters you're bringing <laughs> it was highly entertaining though and it looked great all right uh, this is just a quick video just really want to show off what I was able to do with uh, the scenic risers, elevation, and, and the fort walls, and just cool stuff you can do with the train system. It's pretty neat. If you're interested in the train, go check it out, TalismanSaberTrain.com. We have a digital file store available. Uh, should be opening up. If it's not open by the time this video posts, it will be any day afterwards. And also, if you want physical terrain, if you don't want to print it on yourself, print it on your own, or you don't want to paint it on your own, send us an email. We do the we print and paint terrain for you. Last thing, if you like the Inox archers that I have, I have my old ones that look like this. I've got six of them, and I'm going to be giving them away. So if since I have these new three-horn ones printed on an Epax X1 uh, resin printer, so these ones are all printed on my old FDM, or not? they're not old printers, but when I was doing FDM uh, miniatures instead of resin ones. And I've got six archers, just like this. And I will be giving them away. So I've got another video coming out. It should be, I'll probably link it right here. And if you want to participate in the giveaway, it's going to be a fun little contest, a little bit different than last time, and we should get some cool stuff. So check out that video if you want some free minis. Anyway, that's it for me. And as always, happy gaming.